So I'm putting Brittany to work. She's making all of these ends for me that will go down from each connector. These are the emergency on off PV connectors. They'll go down into this box that will go through the wall outside. Brittany and I are out here in the middle of the night hooking up the PV cutoffs. She's did, <laughs> she did all of the conduit cutting and she's terminating these inside of the box. Whoop whoop. whoop, whoop. Just cut the excess um, <clears throat> railing that was hanging over the side off. I did the first one with the angle grinder. It took forever. The uh, sawzaw knocked it out in just like 20 seconds, maybe even less. Anyway, and now I need to cut the ones off of this side. Got one more left. I'll get on the roof for that one. And there they are. All right, I'm trying to beat this storm. Apparently I'm the only one dumb enough to get up here when it's about to come down. I crawled up here with my uh, grounding wire and it's all zip tied together. And I was like, oh yeah, I dropped a pair of pliers on the roof. Well, Brittany and I uh, tackled the side of the house and getting everything hooked up to the disconnects for the AC and the uh, solar panels. And so the 24 that I have are mounted and live. Just wanted to give you guys a follow-up video. Here's my AC disconnect, and this is where all the wires come in. They're all gonna end up looking like that. So those are gonna go to the shop for the other 14. And then the uh, 32 I have on the roof right here are going there. And then all of these. Uh, thanks. All of these disconnect switches come down into this box and to patch cables through this hole into the inverter. And I just noticed that I still have this one turned off because I was doing a little bit of work. So we'll flip that on. Yeah, so anyway, those uh, eight connectors on top will just loop over. I'm going to tack them to the side of the brick, try to make it as nice as possible. But as to not put any more holes in the roof, I'm just going to go around the gutter. But um, yeah, now that we got these 24 live, <coughs> I'm doing some testing. Of course, it's going to rain. So uh, my testing will not give me very good information so i'm just going to run it for a couple days with these 24 as i'm waiting for the others to show up those other eight panels just landed in texarkana um yesterday so hopefully i'll get them tomorrow uh we'll see it might be monday say cheese <laughs> <laughs> you look nice in front of that car um so now we're pulling the panel wires and <clears throat> while i'm doing that might as well pull a bunch more data uh through the house into this electrical conduit. And Penelope's making a mud cake. And Penelope's making a mud cake. <laughs> hey Penelope, say hi. Hi. So here's the finished product. It's not exactly level, but I do have two pairs of solar cables running through there, eight gauge and five network drops. And uh, Pulled those in here. I've got a connection going all the way back to the main router in, uh, in my data closet in there, connecting all the way to a point to point system that goes from the shop here. Right over here. And that goes to mom and dad's place and supplies their internet. They haven't paid for internet in I think six years. Yeah, what a deal.